हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑल एन एन लॉ दिस इज अ मेडिकल वीडियो लेक्चर इंटरनल मेडिसिन एंड टुडे आई एम गोना क्लियर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सोमोगी एंड सोमोगी इफेक्ट एंड डॉन phenomenon and this is a really very important to understand and very important for your usmle examinations so guys concentrate on this and i'm sure after the at the end of this video you will get some information about the somogi and down phenomenon okay guys so let me quickly start a discussion on this Let's start a somogi. Okay, the somogi effect. What's the somogi effect? It's nothing but a body's reaction to what you call low glucose or hypoglycemia. For example, this is a dinner time. Okay, around six p.m. Okay. then this is a midnight that's a mid around midnight 3 am sorry mm -hmm. 3 am okay and again we have 7 am let's divide like this okay so the patient of diabetes type 2 soon after the dinner he will take a uh, insulin nph insulin okay so for example in a somogi effect the nph there is a too much of nph the patient has taken more of nph insulin okay so now what happens glucose level at around 3 am will be low low glucose okay so he will undergo what you call hypoglycemia at 3 am and now the body has to do something to increase the blood glucose because it is a really very important okay so what it does it releases the stress hormones and at around what you call high um, 7 am the reaction to the glucose will take place and that results in the normal what you call glucose okay or sometimes it can be more sorry it should be more okay it's high mm -hmm. okay so the patient of somogi effect uh, the patient will take high or a more nph at the dinner time and at 3 am in the night or early morning the glucose will be very low because of a high nph okay around and this because of the low glucose the body reacts body reacts releases the stress hormones okay and causes the blood glucose level to rise so now just imagine okay now just imagine here the patient has taken the more nph but in early morning you measure the what you call the blood glucose level and it's a high you might think that the nph level you might still want to increase the nph okay so that's very dangerous to the patient so that's why we measure the glucose at 3 am okay to know the exact level exact dose of nph to be administered okay guys i think you got it what is somogi effect is okay so let's move on to the down phenomenon so what's the treatment for this how would you treat that how would you treat that this is really very important what do you do just decrease the dose of nph decrease the dose of nph decrease the dose of nph okay that's it that's the treatment for this not increase the nph okay now let's move on to the other phenomenon important that's the dawn phenomenon okay so dawn phenomenon is nothing but 
is a hyperglycemia caused by normal secretion of growth hormone early in the morning. It's nothing but hyperglycemia. Hyperglycemia. So more glucose, okay? Hyperglycemia caused by normal secretion of growth hormone. So early in the morning, okay? Early, just imagine early the timing. Let me divide over here is 7 a.m. Okay, so 7 a.m. At the 7 a.m. there is a release of growth hormone, growth hormone, and because of this growth hormone early in the morning, it causes hyperglycemia. So patient will have raised what you call uh, uh, glucose in the blood. Okay, raised glucose in the blood. But remember it and it's normal or high at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. is a normal. Why? Because the growth hormone is not secreted in the 3 a.m. at the 3 a.m., right? So no hypoglycemia. This point differentiates whether it's he is in he, it is due to somogi effect or is a dawn phenomenon. Okay, guys? So what's it, it what helps you to differentiate somogi effect from a Down's phenomena or Down's phenomena from somogi effect is a 3 a.m. glucose level. If it's a normal, then it's a Down phenomenon. If it's not normal, it's a hypoglycemia, then it's a somogi effect. So that's why really very important to measure the glucose at 3 a.m. Okay. What's the treatment for this? The treatment is to increase the thinner and pH. To prevent the early morning hyperglycemia got it look at the differences between what you call somogi and the dawn phenomenon it's a totally different okay early morning they both the present with the same uh, glucose level but the treatment is totally day totally different and if you give more NPH if it's due to the somogi effect then it's very dangerous to the patient he will go severe hypoglycemia and that can take place okay and if it's a dawn phenomena, you have to give the NPH, okay? It doesn't mean that you should stop the NPH. You should not lower the NPH. That will lead to hypoglycemia. That's it, guys. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sure this video was really very helpful for you. I hope this somogi effect and dawn phenomena are very clear. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.